What the f This is what you might be thinking when you look at the new G-Wolves HSK mouse, which is not only one of the lightest mice to come out in recent history, but also one of the smallest form factors that we've seen to date at 38 grams. With all of the copycat Zowie shapes, it's nice to see another company step out of the box and try something new to fill a niche. We've seen in the past claw grip users get love. We've seen palm grip users definitely get love in the past, but now my fingertip grip brothers, it is your time to shine, baby. Now, when it comes to fingertip grip, your fingers are likely going to be near the front of the mouse, which leaves the back portion completely useless because you're not resting your palm on it. You just have the five contact points of each finger on the mouse. And sometimes the mice can be a little bit too long and that can get in the way of your palm. It can start to kind of hit towards the back of the palm when you try to pull the mouse back. And that's where the G-Wolves HSK starts to shine. It's pretty much that you just took a hottie and cut it in half with a knife. Now we have the HSK. Now, when you're a fingertip grip user, most of the time, you're not gonna take your five fingers off the mouse. So on this mouse, they've actually taken away the side buttons because you're not gonna be using them in game. You wanna be focusing strictly on your aim. You don't wanna have anything bound to those side buttons that would have you take your thumb off to have to hit them. Some people can, but I've seen aim coaches say when you're fingertip gripping, you shouldn't have anything bound to the side of your mouse because like I said, you should just be focusing on getting the best aim possible with a really good grip on your mouse and hitting those side buttons should be the last thing on your mind. I did like that they added in the scroll wheel on here. It feels amazing. G-Wolves has really been working on the scroll wheels and it has a nice rubberized texture to it. It feels great when you press in on it. It reminds me of like the Model O or O minus scroll wheel. It's nice and light, doesn't rattle. It doesn't rattle at all, it's very solid, and you can click it to the side for another button as well. And then you have your main mouse buttons, and these have little comfort grooves on them, but I wish that there was more of a groove. The shape of the mouse is very slanted, you have a high peak near the back, and then you just go straight down, so it feels like the mouse is a little bit too narrow, or too straight, or just, it just has like a very sharp dive from the top. So I think that they need to lower the back end and slightly raise the front end to kind of even it out. And then make those buns a little bit more concave to give it a more comfortable feel. Now this is a sample. I don't know if they're too late in the process to maybe make those changes, but that's what I recommend. I compared this to the 21 gram mouse. I still can't pronounce the name, but I'll drop a link to that one down below as well. It's very, it has a very similar design, but it has less of a hump in the back and the buns are more concave. I think the shape of that mouse is actually better for this, but I just couldn't get over not having a scroll wheel there. The weird thing about this mouse is you can actually claw grip it. It's really weird. Um, and it's not a conventional claw grip. You're not gonna be resting your palm back here, but instead it kind of hits this part near the back of the peak. It kind of works, it's really weird. I wouldn't recommend it. I would just get a normal claw grip mouse, but you can if you wanna try it. Since this is a fingertip grip mouse, it's going to work for all hand sizes. They're using the same cable as their previous mice. It's a very nice one, especially when you put it into a mouse bungee. Very flexible, it's like nothing's there. And of course they have some PTFE feet on the bottom. Those are solid, they're nice and thick. Then you've got the rate report on the bottom that doubles as a DPI button. So you can go 125, 500, or 1000, pulling rate and then you can have your dpi at the normal steps so you've got the bare minimum of, of what you need for a mouse right you've got two buttons a scroll wheel if you want to b hop or bunny hop and then you've got the dpi button on the bottom that doubles as the polling rate so bare minimum here it's what you need and nothing more. Sorry, your browsing experience is going to suffer. So I'd have like a separate like wireless mouse on the side that you can browse with like a MX Master 3 or something. But this one can be like your FPS mouse. Uh, now there's little to no pre-travel and it's very crispy. Let's drop a sound test for you guys right about now.
All right, so the obvious is that this is a niche product and it's gonna be for a very specific demographic. It's about two thirds the size of like a final mouse or a hottie. And the thing that really stands out to me with this mouse is just how accurate and fast you can be with this when moving the mouse. You can hit some devastating shots with these. I did find that having such a small form factor and having such a light mouse at the same time made tracking a little bit harder for me. Maybe having a heavier mouse is, can actually be a good thing sometimes when it comes to controlling your mouse. So that might be something you want to look out for if you're thinking about copying this mouse that being said it has a very high skill ceiling if you can master it and it's fixed an issue that's play fingertip users for a while and taking off half of the mouse so we've all been caught up on weight and going lighter and lighter but i think that 60 to 80 grams is still the sweet spot for mice so i don't think that that should be a deciding factor in getting this mouse but more of, does this shape fit the bill? Are you a fingertip grip user? Or if you just wanna mess around and try something new and different that you've never tried before? Do you wanna break some new records in Kovacs? This could be a great choice for you. Now I do wanna to touch on the coating a little bit. It is really good, but it would be dope if g Wolves would put some extra grips in the box. I know this is a sample, so they might not be included right now and they might make it in for the final version, but I think having some grips on the mouse one and two and on either side would be pretty dope. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this review on the sample version of the G Wolves HSK. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have any more questions, let me know down in the comments below. It has been your boy BT. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the way out. I will see you in the next one. Peace.